Today, let's look at passion. What is passion? And why are so many motivational teachers urging us to follow our passion, to have our wildest dreams instantly fulfilled? To understand this, we firstly take the bigger picture perspective, as we always do in my videos, to look at the two opposing realities of life. Here, we have the absolute and infinite reality of light, peace, harmony, joy, and divine will and selfless love. And here, we have the relative or temporal reality that is just outside of the absolute reality. It is also called the Fall Worlds, because this is a reality created by the spirit beings who, through their self-will, have left the absolute reality during the event that is generally known as the Fall. This reality is the causal or illusionary reality which is ruled by the law of cause and effect. What you send out, you get back. So it is the realm of pain and suffering because it is the realm of opposites and contrasts, as it is also the realm of time and space. It's full of different universes, alien societies and so on, where the densest frequency is the material universe, which is furthest away from the central sun, right down here. Dolores Cannon got it right when she called this a very convoluted universe in her books. It is a very busy and restless realm where countless spiritual beings are still driven by their passion, always hoping that they find the personal satisfaction or goal they desire. A constant chase, such passion used for self-will or self gratification can easily result into a further downspiling of the frequency of the soul. Particularly here on Earth, many souls are driven by their passions and human wanting, which is at the core of our worldly materialism and consumerism. Now we understand why the original meaning of the word passion is not positive, but the opposite. The meaning comes from the old Latin verb patio, which means to suffer, to endure, like in the Passion of Christ, his treacherous path to the cross. The word has the same negative connotation in other languages. For instance, the German word for passion is Leidenschaft. Translated means the action that creates suffering. The Buddha also warned us about the poison of our passions, especially attachment, greed and lust. Now let's compare that with the absolute reality, which is our true home. It is the total opposite. This reality is inhabited by perfect, powerful, radiant spiritual beings who populate the seven spheres of the absolute reality. They live in the law of divine will and selfless love, not like these guys who have caused the temporary reality through their self-will. These serene beings are not driven by passions. Instead, they are dynamically expressing their unique mentality according to the sphere they are born in. They are helping and assisting the creation of the ever-expanding and eternal rhythmic evolution of the absolute reality. These serene spiritual beings are the embodiment of power, supreme peace, harmony and selfless love and service. This is you and my true origin and our goal in life is to return to this perfect reality of peace, harmony and love again, to reclaim our divine spiritual heritage. So when we hear some motivational teachers encouraging us to follow our passions, we may want to firstly explore what they actually mean by the word passion. If this passion is our deep and authentic desire to love, help and to serve, then that type of passion could be a tool to guide us back home. If, on the other hand, our passion is merely a way to satisfy our ego's needs, drives and desires that usually come from perceived lacks in our life, then that type of passion will give us pain in the end, because that path would be the path of suffering. It would lead us only deeper into the, our entanglement in the temporary material reality, further away from home. Do we really want that? Remember, this relative reality is only temporary and illusionary. Eventually, all these fallen spiritual beings will return back 
and this whole event of the fall will be nothing but a tiny unintended ripple in the grand scheme of the evolutionary process of the absolute reality. The purpose of this video is not to prevent anybody from following their passion. But what kind of passion is it? Is it to satisfy our ego, our desires, our pleasures? I merely share with you the information as we have received it from beings of the absolute reality. The choices are always ours. And if you have got any questions regarding this video or any other video, please go to my website lifeexplained.com and click on Video Index. Here you find all my short spiritual videos organized by different topics. Chances are that you might find the answer you are looking for. See you in my next video.